Assalamu alaikum, Mofi and Thai. And then you reply with Fiona Hai, innit? Hopefully, with Fiona Hai. You're good. Comment down below, actually, where you think I'm from. If you didn't think I was, if you didn't know I was Jamaican, where would you have said I was from? Like, let me know. Hi guys, I am Tia Marisha, for those who don't know already. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Aloha. Gun tag. Konnichiwa. Howdy. Awagwan, innit? You get me? Without further ado, I guess you're all here for a reason and you want to see what my revert story is. This... Where do I start on this story? Um, I'm a little bit sick, so bear with me. I did my shahada on the 14th of October 2016. So two years ago on Sunday, hey. I don't know when this will be uploaded, hopefully it'll be uploaded on Sunday, so hopefully today, two years from today, if not two years from the 14th of October um, 2016. So for those who don't know, um, the term Shahada, the term Shahada means Declaration of Faith. The Shahada in English, I'm going to try and translate it for you, that there is no one worthy of worship um, besides God, Allah. And that you believe that um, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his final prophet and messenger. Growing up, I was baptized. Well, as a child, I was baptized. I don't remember it because obviously you're a baby. So growing up, I had a Rasta dad, a Christian mom, and um, some of my relatives are Muslim, like my extended family, like my auntie. <laughs> Pardon. I think my primary school was the C of E school, so for those who don't know, a Church of England school. Um, we had a few ceremonies where we had to attend the church, we had to be in the church choir. On Sundays there was classes, so like Sunday school. It's the equivalent of like going to the mosque and learning about your religion. Having all these figurines everywhere, like as soon as you was to turn here you see like a little statue here, as soon as you turn here you see a statue there. And I didn't really like that and as a child I thought that was a bit eerie because Sunday school, especially in winter time, obviously it gets darker early and by the time you finish, it just wasn't for me. Uh, fast forward in a couple of years into my teenage years, but in secondary school everyone was shocked and surprised that I was Jamaican because they all thought I was Somalian and all the Somalian lot literally stuck to me like glue. I used to go out with the Somalian lot for... Um, Basically like Eid and Iftar. Iftar is when you break your fast, so at sunset um, you can start to eat and then I used to go out with them to motives, places, stuff. But yeah, so originally T wanted to join the army as a drummer. I wanted to be a drummer in the band of the Grenadiers. Um, looking at it now, um, I don't know, I just wanted to do it, like I did get it as a child. Um, I've played drums since primary school, like end of primary school into secondary school. I'm very musical and and that's what I wanted to do. But obviously God had other plans, you know what I mean? I had knee surgery, had to relearn how to walk and everything. When I applied for the army, the type of knee surgery I had meant I could never ever join. And yeah, I was just absolutely gutted and I obviously started questioning at that point as well. What am I doing? What's my purpose if I'm not going to be able to do what I need, plan to do, what's, what's the next plan, like, I want to know what my, my plan is. Ah, ah, this is where it gets nice and little juicy. Into Ramadan, actually, when I was 19, so I think maybe, like, in 2016, maybe. Obviously, I was still with my partner at that time, during Ramadan, and we made it clear that, obviously, him being Muslim, we didn't want to see each other as much, because we didn't want to be, like, tempted. I, obviously, broke fast with my friend. And this one particular time, um, there happened to be egg in my food, which I didn't know at the time because it was a weird scenario. I don't mess with eggs, yeah? Scrambled eggs, boiled egg, poached egg, fried egg. I don't even know what else you can do with egg, but I eat it, yeah? That I consume it. But moving on, yeah. She kept asking me, she was like, you keep spending so much time with me, is everything okay with your partner kind of thing? And I was like, yeah, everything's fine. Like, obviously he's Muslim, so he's fasting as well. And she was like, oh, so things are kind of moving serious with you guys now. And I said, well, yeah, like, 
anyone who knew me growing up in school, I never dated anyone. We've invested time and, you know, we've, we've tried to make things work, we're getting to know each other. She was like, so could you see yourself marrying this guy? Like, I don't know if I will marry this guy, like, I didn't even know that I would be in a relationship kind of thing. Like, if I end up marrying this guy, then why not? I, I could see myself marrying him. She was just like, what? Like, you can't marry him because, like, you know, you're not Muslim. Looking back at that now, I realised obviously she was wrong. My friend is of a Pakistani and Bengali mix. I realised, like, it came out of jealousy. It came out of hatred because of her past experience. Her family and partner's family weren't happy for them to be married and they were in a relationship for five years. That's a long time to spend with somebody and then have your parents say, like, no, sorry, like, you can't marry him or her because they're not of our culture. I did think that was sad. I was with her, obviously, through that time, but... Shawty can't tell me I can't marry my honey boo boo, you know what I mean? So, I said, you know what, like, I'm done, like, here, I don't want to hear this no more. I feel sick as it is. I want to take the rest of my food and I'm going to go home. And I started, like, vomiting. I was really sick because obviously I ate egg. Went to hospital, blah, blah, blah. Long story short. And obviously my boyfriend came. Yeah, he was at my side, like, stuck to me by glee. I was on a drip. I really wasn't feeling very well. And all I could just think of is, like, how can my friend turn around and tell me that I'm not able to marry this guy. When I obviously was discharged and whatnot, I started to research and I started to research what she had told me and I was like, something really, 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 really deep in me told me it was like, I can't, that doesn't make sense, that I don't accept that, like I shut that out completely. I researched, I found out that people who are born into Islam as a female, they have to marry someone who is Muslim, according to um, Islam in it. Obviously people do different things, I'm saying if you want to live your life and do that, you do you boo. Whether they change into the religion as like myself or whether they're born Muslims, it doesn't matter, it doesn't specify, it just says Muslim man, period. Yeah, and then Muslim born men can marry any woman of, of the Abrahamic religions. So if you're not really familiar with these terms, the Abrahamic religions are classed as monotheism religions. Correct me if I said that wrong. So mono meaning one, so there's one belief in obviously one God. So um, the three religions are Christianity, Judaism, and I was gonna say it's Islami, it's Islam. So I thought it was upon myself to share it with my friend and tell her that she was wrong basically. And I said, um, hey, like what you told me last time wasn't true. Um, I can marry him. Um, I, I've been baptised, so either way I'm from those three religions. I was baptised as a child, so that meant I felt underneath the umbrella of Christianity. If I was Jewish, he'd still marry me. And if I was Muslim, he could still marry me. And she was not happy with that at all. At all. Oh my good lord. Anything she told me after, like, you can't marry him because you're not Muslim, that statement, I couldn't trust her at all for any other thing. So everything she told me about Islam, I went and I researched and this all happened, by the way, during the month of Ramadan in 2016. Yeah. So it all started from that really, like I had a negative statement and any information that she told me and like, I, I just checked, I just, I kind of got addicted to checking and researching kind of thing and yo, like, where have I been? Like, where have I been?